defendants have disclosed the opinion of one of the nation's prominent experts in the field of false confessions, Dr. Leo PhD, JD, which finds that Dr. Moore's confession is properly classified as a coerced complaint false confession. His review of the interrogation of Dr. Moore came to the following conclusions. One, Daniel Moore's interrogation induced confession statement is almost entirely, or I'm sorry, is almost certainly, if not certainly false. It bears numerous indica and hallmarks of unreliability and no indica or hallmarks of reliability or trustworthiness. If false, Dr. Moore's confession statement is properly classified as a coarse complaint false confession. Number two, Bonner's Ferry Assistant Chief Ryan and Idaho State Police Detectives Van Leeuwen and Tolson's interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020 that led to his confession statements is consistent with the empirical social science research on the types of interrogation techniques, methods, and practices that explain how and why innocent individuals are often moved to make and or agree to false, unreliable confessions. There's nine. Assistant Chief Ryan and Detectives Van Leeuwen and Tolson's interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020 was psychologically coercive. It involved the use of psychologically coercive interrogation techniques, methods, and strategies that have been shown to cause suspects to perceive that they have no meaningful choice but to comply with the demands and requests of their interrog interrogators and thus led to involuntary confessions. Assistant Chief Ryan and Detective Van Leeuwen and Tolson's interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020 was guilt, presumptive, confirmatory and confession driven. The interrogation was structured to break down Dr. Moore's denials of guilt and to incriminate him by pressuring and persuading him to agree with and admit to the investigators pre-existing and non-evidence based speculation that he killed Brian Drake. The investigators guilt presumptive interrogation was not structured to, as to assess the reliability of any information the investigators learned from Dr. Moore, but to confirm their pre-existing theories Dr. Leo, Callie, Dr. Richard Leo, right? Leo is internationally recognized for his pioneering empirical research on police interrogation practices, the impact of Miranda. Number five, Assistant Chief Ryan and Detective Van Leeuwen and Tolson's interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020 involved the use of psychological interrogation techniques, methods, and strategies that have been shown by social science research to increase the risk of eliciting false and unreliable statements, admissions, and or confessions, which are known as situational risk factors, when misapplied to the innocent. This included a premature presumption of guilt based on a reckless disregard for the truth, false evidence ploys, minimization and maximization threats and promises. If you say that you just meant to, you know, shoot him, but you didn't, you just meant to shoot to the window to scare him. It's totally different than what your motive. Like if you were really trying to kill, then it's just like, you know, seven years and or otherwise it's the death penalty. Number six, Ass Assistant Chief Ryans and Detective Van Leeuwen and Tolson interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020 involve multiple instances of police interrogation, contamination, leaking, and disclosing non-public case facts. <laughs> I've been saying this all goddamn day. Dr. Leo, thank you so much. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Boom. Who oh. leaking and disclosing non-public case facts and police interrogation scripting, pressuring and persuading the suspect to accept the police narrative of how and why the alleged crime occurred.
which increased the risk that that Mr. Moore's confession statement would misleadingly appear to be accurate and self cooperating. In their interrogation of Daniel Moore on August 27, 2020, Assistant Chief Ryan and Detectives Van Leeuwen and Tolson violated numerous police investigative and interrogation national training standards, protocols, and commonly accepted best practices that existed in 20 motherfucking 20. God, yes, I knew they did. Detectives Van Leeuwen's and Tolson's questioning of, oh my God, the coroner, Mickey Millette, on August 27, 2020, was an interrogation, not an interview, and involved the use of improperly suggestive, deceptive, and manipulative pressure and persuasion techniques designed for the interrogation of criminal suspects, not for the interview of fact witnesses. These techniques included accusations of lying, attacks on denials, false evidence ploys, minimization, and implicit threats. In their interrogation of Mickey Mullet on August 27, 2020, detectives Van Leeuwen and Tolson used psychologically coercive in interrogation techniques for the purposes of electing third-party testimony, evidence to incriminate and fabricate a case against Daniel Lee Moore to get the alibi witness to flip that fit their factually unsupported, preconceived assumptions about the murder of Brian Drake. The investigator's interrogation of Mickey Millette was an attempt to pressure and persuade Mickey Millette to regurgitate the investigator's pre-existing theory of the crime rather than attempt to find the truth. Further, Dr. Moore's alibi witness, former Boundary County coroner Mick Millette, will testify that Dr. Moore was with him at the time of Brian Drake's murder. Jennifer Drake failed to post any reference to Dr. Moore's alibi, let alone the decisions by Judge Buchanan finding that the law enforcement agencies had violated Dr. Moore's rights engaged in coercive tactics to extract a confession and failed to establish the probable cause necessary to proceed with their criminal charges against him. What do you guys think so far? You guys think, I mean, he is like one of the best um, false confession experts in, in the country.